So it's Phil here at Digital DJ Tips. In fact, I'm in Amsterdam at the moment. I'm at the Amsterdam Dance Event, ADE. And I'm just between meetings and shows and all the stuff I've got to do here. I thought I'd take some time out to give you part two of this 40 part, we think it's going to be 40 parts, vlog about the making of our new DJ course, which is going to be called The Complete DJ. And the idea of this is for me to share the journey, what it's like to make a big piece of DJ training with people who are interested in our community. But also, of course, along the way, I can tell you about the kind of things I'm teaching and the training that we're making for the course, uh, give you some advice on how to get head in your own DJing while I'm making it, uh, and share kind of some of the ups and downs of what it takes to do something like this. Uh, and also, I want you to share your DJing journeys with me as well. And together, we can kind of like have a 40-week journey uh, to wherever we're going in our, in our DJing and in our lives, basically. So um, I've got loads of comments from last week's vlog, and I want to just call out a few people. Uh, I want to call out Video Star, who says, love the book. My goal is to play out without messing it up. I've asked you to share your goals and your DJ with me. Um, and uh, Postmaster Sodium says, I'm probably in a different situation than many. I successfully DJed and then had a long break, and now I'm trying to get back to it. Uh, and he wants to share his uh, passion for DJ with his young son. You'd be surprised how many people are in exactly the same boat there, uh, DJ uh, Postmaster Sodium. So you're not alone. Um, so uh, a, lot of, a lot of you just saying, look, I've got no idea about DJing, but I really want to do it, especially uh, Husim in North Africa uh, said that. Um, and uh, lots of you just being kind, love the work, Phil, says Maku, uh, good luck with this. Um, a lot of you, uh, also Apollos is coming off a long break as well. Uh, and someone said, you're accountable now, Phil. You're making yourself accountable. That is no coincidence. I thought if I make myself accountable in public, I cannot mess this up. But actually, that's one of the teaching points I'm going to share with you today. There is a flip side to that. Um, uh, that sounds great. This is Mr. DJ Fuzz. I'm looking for Mr. DJ Fudge. I'm looking forward to your future posts. Uh, and a few of you asking about how to get resonances in bars and stuff. What's going to happen is within a couple of weeks, I'm actually going to be in the studio with my team making the training for this new course. It's a huge course, it's like 110 videos, uh, 110 video lessons with all the handouts and stuff that go with that. There's going to be interviews with DJs. Uh, and uh, it's going to take a lot of work. There's going to be mixed examples across all kinds of genres. Uh, so as I'm making that stuff, I'll share with you every week what I've been making. And as I say, the big takeaways, the big tips So you can kind of follow on. And when we get on to, you know, how to get gigs in bars and stuff, we'll be talking about this kind of thing. Uh, that's from Johnny Howard. Um, so the teaching points I want to share with you today, there's a couple actually. The first one is when you're setting goals. So we talked last week about setting goals. And that's what we're going to talk a bit more about today. When you're setting goals in your DJing, so say you want to be a superstar DJ playing in the massive club in your town, right? That's a long-term goal. You're not gonna get there this week, this month, or even this year. That's a long-term goal. And you have to have long-term goals. If you don't have them, you'll never get to them, right? But that's not enough. You have to either break your long-term goals down into shorter, easier to achieve goals, uh, or you have to have easier to achieve goals that, that you know, that of themselves are a good thing to, to do and to, and, to, and, to and it could be stuff that you have to do, right? So you should have, and someone, a very rich person, successful person once said to me, you need three goals at all points in your life, a short-term one, a medium-term one, and a long-term one. So for instance, for what I'm talking to you about, my medium-term goal, about six months away, is to finish this big DJ course. My longer-term goals are to do with my family and my business, which we're not gonna talk about here. My short-term goal, I'm here in Amsterdam. I'm doing coverage for Digital DJ Tips. We're talking to everyone in the music industry. I was interviewing Ferry Corsten last night. I've got more interviews to come up now. Uh, I'm doing all the content that you come to expect from us whenever we uh, attend events. So look, this is a short-term thing. This will be over next week. Next week, I've got Joey from Digital DJ Tips with me in the big studio in Gibraltar. He's not often there because he's often in the Philippines. We're doing other short-term things that we want to do. They're nothing to do with this course that I'm making, but it is it makes sense to slot short-term short goals in as well because they might be something you have to do. You've got to put money, uh, bread on the table, you've got to put money in the bank, right? And your longer-term goal might be something that's going to pay off down the line, but you need to take care of business today, here and now, right? Uh, uh, but also, it, it's good for your soul to do stuff, to achieve stuff quickly because if you've got a long-term goal, playing in the big club in your town, whatever it might be, you know, you can get very disillusioned on your way to that. And as I said earlier, your short-term goals can be connected to something like that. So it could be just making your first mixtape or whatever, or it could be something that's completely different, you know, get the promotion at work this week or whatever your short-term stuff is. Now, the other thing I wanted to share with you in today's vlog is, uh, you know, it's something that I'm guilty of, basically. I'm always saying to you guys and girls, look, push yourselves, set goals, try hard, 
Don't take no for an answer. Think big. Uh, and all the stuff, the, you know, the stuff that means that you'll hopefully have a chance of getting to your dreams of being a great DJ or a great DJ producer. But there is a flip side to that. And I'm guilty sometimes of going, uh, uh, of forgetting about this, uh, which is you push yourself too hard. You set yourself targets that, uh, that cause you more pain than pleasure, if you like. Uh, you're gonna, it's, a, gonna, it's not going to end nicely. And I, I'm often doing that myself. Now, I set myself this nine month target to finish this huge DJ course. I'm loving the idea of, I'm loving, we've had to go backwards and forwards in planning it in my diary with my team because I just can't fit it all in. So that's currently bouncing backwards and forwards to see when, when the hell I'm gonna make this stuff and what help I'm gonna need. It's quite stressful. Uh, and I was planning for ADE this week. I'm here, I've got like 20 meetings. I've got loads of interviews to do. That was quite stressful. I had some family stuff going on, some people ill in the family and stuff. That was quite stressful. I went to the gym on Monday morning. I came here on the, on Wednesday morning. Went to the gym on Monday morning with all this stuff rattling around my head, uh, not in the best of moods, and I hurt myself. Uh, and I believe that that is not disconnected. I believe that's completely connected. If you are very stressed, I think you know, you're very likely to literally physically injure yourself. Like it's your body's way of saying, calm down, take a deep breath, you're doing too much. Uh, and it always seems to happen to me before I go on a very important business trip like I am here in, in, in the Amsterdam dance event, right? And I know this. I've seen this pattern before. Like I say, it always seems to happen to me. I'm always limping around. All I did was pick up a really heavy weight and my, my whole body locked up and I was like, ah, uh, and it's taking its time to improve. But the reason that happened to me, and I know myself well enough, is stress. I piled on too much work. I piled on too much long-term, medium-term and short-term goals. I didn't take a breather and think, look, you've got to find a way of enjoying this. Life's bigger than all the goals you're saying. You've got to find a way of enjoying this minute, this second. So that's my advice to you. You're not going to hear me saying this too often, but when you're setting goals for yourself, when you're setting big targets that you want to reach in your DJing and your music production, just bear in mind that, you know, life is actually slightly bigger than all of this and try and find a way of enjoying it. Try and give yourself some time to just laugh and have fun, spend with your family and your friends and so on. Uh, sleep well, eat well, and don't get too stressed. Don't injure yourself or get yourself mentally feeling a little bit under the weather uh, because you're just being too hard on yourself. It's not worth it. So as I say, you're not usually gonna hear me saying this stuff. I'm usually gonna be the one saying, work harder, stop giving me excuses. Uh, but right now at the beginning, we're only in week two of this journey of me sharing how I'm making this big new DJ training course. I'm already feeling the stress, right? Maybe it's connected with the fact that I'm vlogging. Uh, who knows? Anyway, that's uh, your vlog for today. Please let me know what you think about short, medium and long term goals. Share what your short, medium and long term goals are below. Uh, and I'd love to share that in at the beginning of next week's vlog uh, and give a few of you some shout outs. Meanwhile, I've got to go back I'm with Denon DJ this evening. They've got some exciting stuff to show me, apparently. So I need to go back there, post this vlog up on our YouTube page and then head off into town here in Amsterdam. Absolutely gorgeous city and it's sunny as well. It's normally raining here at ADE, so there is a blessing in there somewhere. So cool, get good, get out there, make the moments and I will see you next week.